know your computer students in this first chapter we are going to know about the computer what is a computer and what are the different uses and how is it different from a man a computer is very useful for us and helps us to do many activities so let's begin the chapter students computers have become an important part of our life but they are different from us they are different from human beings let's see how students here are a few points to differentiate the computer with the human beings so let's read it a computer works very fast it does not makes mistakes it does not get tired it stores everything in its memory a computer needs instructions to work and cannot take any decision on its own and the most important thing is that a computer needs electricity but a human being works fast but not as fast as a computer it can makes mistakes humans also get tired but they can work without instructions and can also take decisions on their own and human beings do not require electricity so students as you saw and you can read on the screen the computer is different from human beings in many ways the points are mentioned here so students read it on your own and learn the difference between the computer and the human beings now let's move to the next point besides being different from us computers are also similar to us in some ways let's see the points let's read it both human beings and computer can collect and use information we human beings matlab hum insaan we can also collect information computer the machine can also collect information we both have memory to store information hum dono ke paas hi memory hai hamare paas bhi hai aur computer ke paas bhi hai and we both need care hum dono ko care chahiye agar hum computer ko acche se nahi rakhenge uska care nahi karenge to wo acche se kaam nahi karega waise hi hame human beings ka bhi care karna chahiye so these are the similarities between the computer and the human being Now we are going to study about the different types of computer. Computers are available in different shapes and sizes. Some of the some of the computers we use are given below. Let's read it. So students, as you can see, the first type is desktop computer. The computers that we keep on the desk is called a desktop computer. We cannot carry it around easily because it is connected with different parts. It is commonly kept on the desk and is used at homes, shops and schools. The next is laptop. A laptop is smaller than a desktop computer. Laptop jo hai wo desktop se chhota hota hai aur usko hum alag alag jagah pe bahut aasani se lekar ja sakte. It is very easily carried to different places and it also works on battery. Wo battery se chalta hai and it can be carried to different places the third is the tablet pc a tablet pc is a notebook or a slate shaped mobile computer it has a touch screen that allows a user to operate it without a keyboard and mouse so students the laptop and the tablet pc both can be carried to different places and a desktop computer cannot be carried to different places The fourth one is PDA personal digital assistant a PDA is a small computer that can be held in hand and is used as a phone to store personal information we can also send fax using it the fifth one is supercomputer like a superman this is a supercomputer it is very big computer and not used commonly it is used at places like space and research centers let's recall a computer helps us to do many tasks a computer is different from a man computer are of different types what are the different types that we studied desktop laptop tablet pc pda and supercomputers a laptop computer is also called a notebook computer so students go through the video properly read this chapter okay and study at home